Hello. Hello, and welcome to my Inktober 2019, uh, tour? Video thingy? Um, everything I've got is in this little folder. Um, about three drawings in, I decided to ditch this here sketchbook because it just kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to the little square aspect of it. It had like the right amount of pages for everything I wanted to do in 31 days. Uh, but it just kind of sucks. And um, kind of detailed why in my last video the 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 paper just kind of absorbed things weird. So um, I started just doing little sketches on here and uh, transferring them over throughout the process, but let's dig in. Day number one was ring. This here is a ring-tailed cat, uh, of which I have never had the pleasure of meeting in person, though I do believe they exist. Um, and I think they're adorable. So they're just hanging out on some planets here. This one's barely hanging on. And, um, this is all watercolor and ink. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's day number one. Day number two starts on the back of one of these. Yep, day number two was mindless. Um, I think this is one of my favorite ones still. I had fun with the, the little brains and the weird gangly, veiny sort of necks of these two bird brains. This is also watercolor and ink in the background and fur around the dots. Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with this gold pen. I like outlining things in it these days. This guy has nothing going on up here except some flies, as it do. Yep. Mindless. And this guy's like super smart, obviously. Day number three starts on the back of this guy. This is bait. Day number three. I feel like Inktober started kind of slow for me. Not really sure how to describe it or why. But, uh... Anyway. I think it mostly had to do with this book. Like, you can kind of see where... I think I pointed this out in my last video. This, uh, this paper just kind of, like, would get splotchy in weird places, but it, you wouldn't know it before putting down watercolor. It was just, like, I can't even... Just watch my other video. It's fine. It's weird. It's It was awful. Awful. Just awful. Drove me nuts. But I finally got through this drawing. Only... <laughs> For it to happen again on the back, on the on the fourth day, so that's when I said, I'm done with this book. I ripped these out in horrible frustration, and started on regular watercolor paper. This is um. What is this called? It's my favorite watercolor paper, and I can't even think of the name of it. Stonehenge. Stonehenge Cold Press. Uh. So this stuff. 100% cotton, 300 GSM, 140 pound. So I just cut several of these into quarters. 
And, and as I got through the month, I was trying different papers and different sizes, depending on how much time I had that day. But yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite watercolor paper ever. So far. But yeah, this was a uh, day four freeze. I wanted to draw some penguins. Um, I also got some new watercolors and was trying out some crazy pinks and mixing it with uh, blues and purples and stuff and just playing around. <clears throat> Day number five was build. Um, I guess my thought process on this was was um like building a community of some sort and feeding it through the tree. I don't know. I didn't really like how this tree turned out. It it's it it looked different in my brain. But I like this over here. I like these little mushroom houses. I would have blackened in the background around the circles like I usually do if I had more time, but I just didn't that day. And the water tower was fun to draw. Mm -hmm. Day number six was husky. <laughs> Kinda silly, but whatever. Some birds talking about their friend Carl. He's just a little husky. Leave him alone. Yep, gossipy birds. Not very nice birds. Poor Carl. Day number seven was enchanted. I drew some rocks. Because there is a spot out in Fredericksburg, Texas, <clears throat> across from which I was married in 2016, but it's always been my place of solace, uh, regardless. And um, it's always where I go when, when things just kind of feel crappy and well, maybe not even necessarily crappy, just like, you know, need to get out and, and breathe some fresh air. The freshest air is at the top of this one right here. The tippy top most rock. You can see everything up there, man. It's... It's amazing. And uh, I kind of cut out some rocks here. I cheated a little bit with the enchanted rock sign. Uh, I went online and printed it out and cut it out and put it on this this here sign. Uh, got some cacti over here. I'm not really fond of the weird 90s triangly circly things that I did on, did on this. Uh, I think I could have done without that and probably saved myself like an hour on this drawing. It's okay though. <clears throat> Number eight was frail. I started working on this Yupo paper with uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's inks. Um, basically I just threw a bunch of ink on there and splattered it around and I think I even got some alcohol on there. I sprayed it with this little bottle here of alcohol. Mm -hmm. It just makes neat patterns and you let it dry and it just kind of does what it wants and it's kind of like watching a Polaroid develop. I just, you know, it's a surprise every time. Um, I think that this was like a, I think I was looking at a reference photo of a horse, like an emaciated horse or something. Um, cause I'm weird and yeah, it turned into a bird, of course, as does everything. Well, this was, a uh, some metallic, 
pins that I picked up. They're super cheap and they run out really quickly, but they're like Office Depot metallic markers. <laughs> yeah. Fine point. Mm -hmm. And then just Rotring Isograph ink here. India ink for the black part. Number nine was Swing. Another bit of Yupo art. You can tell that I put several layers on the background and just like wasted a ton of ink dabbing it and then putting it back on and dabbing it all over again. But it came out cool. And then just using my Rotring pen to do the rest. Yeah. I like how that pen, like it takes forever for this to dry. So I have to be really careful not to smudge it in the process of drawing, but uh, it just kind of glides on there. It's really nice. Nice and satisfying. I kind of like this tree. I might do some more trees that are similar to this. Little targets. Mm -hmm. Number 10 was pattern. We've got these little goose, gooses. This was fun. This is Posca pen. And, and, uh, that same ink on the background again. Posca and uh, the Rotring pin for the circles as usual. Mm hmm. Goose, goose, goose. Day number 10 was snow. No, I'm sorry. Day number 11 was snow. This is inspired by some sort of BuzzFeed article from a few years ago. Uh, someone had made these crazy, spooky snowmen and given them these iridescent eyeballs. I'm not even sure if iridescent is the right word, but they like, they glowed all these different colors. And they were just hanging out in this open field with some mountains in the background. It was around here where I started really enjoying drawing little trees and like shrubs and stuff. For some reason I've always had the hardest time drawing trees and branches. Like they just don't come out right, but uh, I started, started enjoying just, you know, free drawing branches and not thinking too much about it. And the less I thought about it, the better they turned out somehow. Sometimes you just gotta let your wrist relax or something. Yeah, little snowmans. Number 12 was Dragon, also on Yupo paper. This was uh, Sharpie, not sh yeah, Sharpie. Sharpie and Posca pen and uh, the inks again in the background. Uh, this dude was inspired by Maple Story, the video game. Um, I don't think there's one that looks exactly like this guy. I kind of made him a little more derpy than the one I was sort of looking at. Uh, I did steal the horns. I thought the horns were really cool. But I kind of put my own color scheme to this guy. Um, but yeah, all Posca for the colors. And that same, like, metallic pin for the moon and the stars. Derpy dragon. Uh, day number... Day number 13 was ash. I drew a volcano. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like all of the mountains are covered in ash, to be honest, now that I look at it. And this was really supposed to be the ash. 
unintentional, happy little accidents, as they say. And then just some lines in the background for texture. <laughs> yep. That's for Ash. Number 14 was another one of my favorite ones. This is uh, Overgrown. Do some, some cityscape here. I'm just kind of playing with those new watercolors a bit and experimenting with the different blues and mixing them together and kind of seeing what, what values they brought out. Uh, and tried kind of shadowing some of the buildings that were behind other buildings to give it some more depth. Uh, but yeah, these birds are huge, man. I don't want to mess with them. They, they, they big guys. They big guys. Yep, watercolors. All watercolor. And then, uh, ink for the birds and outlines and such. Mm-hmm. Number 15 was Legend. I drew Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Mm -hmm. She got some junk in her trunk. She got a big butt. And I bought some new Posca pens, different colors uh, that I saw on the internet. Uh, and those came in the mail, so I was experimenting with those for the for the mountains just to check out what the color looked like, but really like this color. I'm not a big fan of pink in general, but uh, salmon I can get behind. And yeah, and ink, P.H. Martin ink again for the background. Yeah, it was fun to scan these and see what the the background turned out to be when I upped like the the levels on it and the contrast turned out really cool. Good old Nessie. Sixteen was wild. Some crazy hair on this sluggy dude. This is another one of my favorites. I really liked. I had I had fun drawing this hair, and then just kind of putting a light wash of yellowish tan on top of it. Watercolored the body. I think this is Posca pen. And then a uh, Rotring Isograph pen ink on the background. I see a fingerprint. Tisk. Seventeen was ornament. Drew some flamingo lawn ornaments. Like their little stick legs. Yeah, this is a quick day. I just wanted to do something small, something simple. Little flamingos. Loving the tropical weather. Number 18 was Misfit. Through this punk rock sheep dude. He's got some some cotton candy hair going on. He started reminding me of of the guy from The Cure. <laughs> um, so I gave him some fishnets. And these two over here, they can they can buzz off. They don't know. They're super jealous. Yeah, this was also kind of a quick one. Some of these I wish I'd gotten. You know, that there were more hours in the day. Because some of these I really wanted to 
do more with. But I kind of had to take shortcuts with them for the sake of doing everything that I needed to do that day. And it is what it is. It's fine. I did something every day and that's what counts. Uh, number 19. Number 19 was Sling. This is another one that I didn't really like much, but it, it got some it got some attention and some nice comments from people. I like the idea, but I'm just not a fan of the colors, I guess. I used uh, Prismacolor markers for the for the monsters. Uh, watercolor for the grass and the sun in the background. And the slingshot. Yeah, I think my first thought kind of wandered over to Angry Birds. But I didn't want to do like Angry Bird fan art, so. Did my own. I have a friend that every time she sees these, she thinks of the, the Langoliers. She's like a... 1980s or something, maybe even earlier than that. Uh, I feel like it's way earlier than that. Stephen King movie? Don't hold me to that, but I do know that it's called The Langoliers and it's a Stephen King movie. And they're just these like floating mouths. Creepy things. At least mine are kind of cute. Those things don't piss those things off. They will haunt your dreams. Um, number 20 was Tread. I liked this one a lot because I put a lot of effort into making this car look like a police car. I worked on this car forever. Um, if you don't know the reference, this is a reference to the movie rubber about the possessed tire. Um, one of my favorite cheesy horror movies. I don't even know if it's a horror movie. It's just funny. It's hilarious to me. But yeah. Sheriff's trying to pull over this tire and the tire's staring him down. And something bad happens, but you'll have to watch the movie if you don't know what happens. I'm not going to ruin it. Yeah, really loving how this paper is taking in watercolors. My new my new watercolor set that I love so much. Look, that's such a solid, lovely sky blue. I'm so happy with it. Uh, number twenty one, day number twenty one was treasure. Played with Yupo again. Kind of let it dry on there a bit longer than usual, so it made this nice, uh, more saturated, uh, texture in the background. The rest of this, I think this is gouache. I was just throwing whatever on this drawing, man. Some gouache. Um, I think most of the grass is gouache. There's some Posca pen. Outlined it in, like, that uh, metallic permanent marker set. The green one, obviously. Uh, this fish is just like, well, yo, what's in this? What is this? This thing is in my space. What is this? Hull? Yeah. Day number 21 was treasure. Uh, number 22 was Ghost. <coughs> uh, the only thing I don't like about this drawing is the, like, rushed mountain bits in the background, but otherwise I really like the idea that I came up with. Like, this guy for once doesn't have teeth, he's just this weird white ball with holes in him. Kind of creepy. 
uh, in this little house down here that I just used. I think I was using that lovely white jelly roll pen. Ah, oh, yeah, there she is. The uh, Sakura jelly roll. Mm -hmm. It's what I do a lot of my white ink on black pieces. And then I use the, uh, the those metallic colored markers to make the grass or like cacti or whatever that is. I like the contrast of that. But yeah, if I could just take away these mountains, I'd be like totally happy. Maybe put something else in the background. <laughs> Another one of those days where I just wanted to, to finish it and move on. But maybe I'll come back to it. Day number 23 was ancient. <laughs> I'm totally not happy with this drawing. It just looks funky and rushed. And it was. This is based off of a... a mythological seahorse thing. Uh, I got this book of... of uh, sea monsters on Renaissance maps uh, when I was in England, and... I just looked through it for some some ideas, and I found this horse. I actually started redrawing this a little bit in a sketchbook recently, so maybe maybe I'll turn it into something else. But yeah, this is <laughs> sorry not to hate on you, little horsey, but you could be better. You could be much better. Um. Day number 24 was Dizzy, the dog chasing his butt. I thought that this would come out looking a lot more contrasted. I thought using this, this silver pen would help a bit and maybe like these, these uh, contrasty colors would help. But he just kind of like blends in with himself. I don't know, I still like him though. I like his little feats. Yeah, just ink. I think this is Posca pen. Watercolor in the background. Sharpie marker for the movement lines. Yeah. Day number 25 was tasty. This is my friend Brooke. She lives in Albuquerque and she works as a manager at this restaurant. Uh, and she hosted a little party a couple weeks ago. She made these great tiramisu boozy cocktail things. And uh, there's this great photo of her that she posted online and use that as a reference. She's so happy. She's so proud of herself. Look at her go. Yep. Actually kind of cheated. This is colored pencil. These are colored pencil. This is Posca pin on the background. And uh... And you ink around the dots, the circles, as usual. But I like it. It totally looks like her. She always draws these little cat eyes. These little, like, you know, cat eyelashes or whatever they are. I've always wanted to pull that off, but I can't really. I don't know. She does. <sighs> Day number 26 it was dark. I was not feeling okay this day. So, I did this late, but it came out nice. Colored pencil in the background, uh, that nice metallic cheap marker that just keeps going actually for this sun moon thing. Uh, obviously a crow of some sort sitting on a branch. Little quick leaves. I don't know, for like a less than an hour long drawing it I'm pretty happy with it. 27 was coat. 
I just drew the coat first and then wasn't sure what to put here so I just started drawing a line and it turned into an earthworm. What are you going to do? But he's wearing this really sweet coat. This might be one of my favorites too. There's several that I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one around for a while. Like that came out way better than I thought it was was going to. Like I like the shadows and the jacket a lot. Sometimes you just like your hand does things and you're pleasantly surprised. Um, Prisma color marker for the background and most of the jacket. Like even the way the Prismacolor markers kind of dry on there looks like shadows. That was completely unintentional. And it gives this like ruffled soft look. Pretty happy with that. Day number 28 was Ride. Another earthworm. A little ant. A little ladybug. Taking full advantage of this earthworm moving super fast through the world. Got some watercolor going on. There's really not a lot of ink in this, to be honest. It's mostly watercolor. I mean, I outlined things in ink, and these dots are in ink, and these circles, and... Yeah, got a green pen and outlined the grass a little bit. Yep. And kind of made some white highlights on parts of their body. Yeah. Number 29 was injured. Gotta figure out what to name these creatures. I really like drawing them. They're like... They're so majestic. But yeah, this one got cut up somehow. That's what the inside looks like. And she's alright, man. She's like... She's just floating around. Still moving. Watercolor background. Uh, watercolor for the body. Yeah. And ink on the background and, and the eye and the outlines and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, number 30 was catch. Gotta catch them all. Little Pokeball. Posca pen. Ink on the background. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then, the last day, Halloween, the 31st drawing, were some pumpkins. Sitting in a field. Uh... Yep. Smelling this, this sneaky guy's pumpkin fart. <laughs> also on Yupo paper with Posca pens. All of it Posca. Mm -hmm. I love Posca pens so much. This guy's about to vom. So is this guy. All right. That's it. That's Inktober. Um, I'm kind of, like, not sure what to do next. Um, I actually went out today. Went out today and bought a new sketchbook. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I just wanted something 
that I can like do light washes in and just kind of experiment and not I guess the point is to loosen up a bit. Like nothing, not everything has to be a finished piece. And I need to get into the habit of allowing myself to do that. But everything I draw, I want to like share it with people. And I want it to be good if I'm going to do that. But that's not how it's supposed to be. So anyway, this book is is probably my next step. Just kind of allow myself to loosen up a little bit. After 31 days of sharing my work, uh, take some time for me, and um, yeah, that's that's probably the next the next thing for me. Um, so I appreciate you watching this video, and uh, I'm sure I'll be doing some sort of drawing challenge next year, or maybe I'll pick one up like in the middle of the year somewhere. Um, I don't think there's really anything I want to do for the rest of the year, like November, December type stuff, but uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll post something. I'll, I'll work on something and, and talk about it and, uh, and stuff. So anyway, hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your um, day and stuff. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.